folks, I have proud news. Proud news. After years of trying to come to this beautiful lake, we have finally made it to the Bear Tracks Lake. All right, there you have it. This is my backpacker's meal and my day dinner on day three for my night three. I got mashed potatoes, chicken, and some fire roasted veggies. Good morning everybody, it's your host Nick and we're out here for our redemption trip in the mountain or Mount Evans wilderness area. We were out here for a four day trip. Uh, we got in last night, uh, too dark to shoot any video. So it was just kind of pictures. Uh, the other two are still sleeping. Well. We're hammock camping. We wanted to go as light as possible. Or, or this is kind of what we like doing when we come out to this area. We prefer our uh, hammock systems over our tents. So everybody's got a different one. Uh, uh, we got a normal hammock over here. Got a Hennessy hammock, and then you got an Eno hammock. Uh, all three different systems, but. It's a beautiful morning, and we are going to eventually hike up to the lake after cooking breakfast and trying to recruit ourselves because it's a journey. Uh, we're just going to hang out for the time being, fish. I am guaranteed we're catching fish today. It's just no way in doubt. This lake's been having a hard time having people go to it in the last eight years, nine years, it's been a long time. So, yeah, this is it. This is our return for another crazy adventure, but this time we're doing it right. So years ago, when I first came to this trail, uh, you guys seen it in my video if not go check it out it's when I did a solo trip of here for it was supposed to be five days but it only ended up being three I cut out two days early uh, but this area about seven years ago uh, suffered what they call a microburst and basically it just toppled trees like crazy it, it knocked down acres and acres of trees just really thick trees and just it buried the trail the trail was inaccessible you try to go to the lake you would take the chance of getting lost more than likely finding the lake and people were getting lost all the time it took them a long time to clear the trail uh, but last year in the fall they finally got the last of it cleared out so we will no longer have to be ducking and dodging over trees. We will actually have a nice smooth hike. I mean, it, it's a rough hike. Don't get me wrong, but it's better to have rocks than climbing over fallen trees continuously because that, that's just rough. And we we're not trying to do that crap again. So we're out here to actually, that's why I call this the redemption trip. We're doing this right this time. We came into this spot instead of trying to go all the way to the lake like we did a couple of years ago. It's a five mile hike to the lake and we were trying to get there a couple of years ago. Uh, we left, still had a little daylight left and then all of a sudden we were lost. Stepped off the trail, didn't even know. Well, I'll have to post that video up if I can find it. Uh, 
Yeah, it was a crazy experience. But we're here. And we're going to actually do this the right way. So, what I'm doing is just waiting on the two and breakfast champions. And then soon, trail time. Well, they're finally out of their cocoon of warmth and comfort. And they are here to start the day. These two slackers have always been slacking and slacking away, but you know what? There is gold in them hails, you see. Well, it's time for breakfast. I got some breakfast hash, some spicy Southwest breakfast hash. I've never tried it before, new flavor to me, so it already looks delicious. Uh, these guys, let's cross over here. Nope. I don't know. I think, I think what do they got there? The biscuits and gravy. Mary and Ben are rocking the biscuits and gravy. Shabam! Breakfast of champions. And look, he's even got his little breakfast of champions. We're trying to get all juiced up before we go hit the trail. Arr, juiced up. Ain't that right there, Hunter? Yeah, he's like, I'm. Leave me alone. I'm eating. This is how a Ben fills up a water bottle. He's just kind of standing there, peeing in it. Ah. Strapping on the backpacks, getting all sunscreened up. Getting all guns a packing. Yeah. Knives a loading. And bulls are a packing. We're gonna get ready to uh, leave camp and we're gonna go to the lake. Mm -hmm. To the lake finally. Well, finally packed up. Bags are all loaded. Everybody's. Got a trail beer, it's just the one, you know, kind of relax here. We're all getting ready to uh, hit the trail and actually do this for once. We are finally going to see the lake. This is exciting. I waited for this moment for years. I can't even rejoice what it'll be like to finally see this place. Well, we made it over the top, guys. How's everyone feeling so far? We're, uh, the trail's gonna start going down, so we found this uh, area that we're gonna hang out, rejoice ourselves, snack on some food, and then we'll eventually make our way. But this is it. This is our little hangout spot. Oh, there you go. So we are now on the final push. This is the other rough part where we just gotta go up and up and up. But once we get there here, we'll cut through two other trails. Uh, and then last It'll final nice stretch. The last, last bit's gonna be the downhill descent and the home run point after this. Then we'll be at the lake. We'll be doing some fishing. Hanging out, relaxing. Our goal will be accomplished at the lake where we've been waiting on this moment for a long long time me especially i came up here uh seven years ago and this trail was like different way different it was like a point to where you didn't even want to do it because it was just impossible yeah i've seen portions like that Still. 
Yeah, me and him, when we did the day hike, we uh, got to the last stretch and we are just ducking and dodging trees and just climbing over and over. And we even actually got lost there for, or turned around there for a moment. So as we're hiking through this trail, I, I gotta fill you guys in about this. I mean, there are some very unique trees out here, like some really thick ones. All right, like look at that. That is so cool. It, it is a forest of art, basically. It is just, I mean. You want to take your time to see this kind of stuff. Some people just zip through this and don't even take a moment to realize, like, oh, man, look at these. Like, I just saw a very unique tree that was just, like, one of the thickest trees out here. And the thing was tall. It was huge. Massive. Oh, I'll, I'll roll in a picture just, just to... Show you a demonstration with uh, Ben standing right next to it. Thing's massive. It's cool. See, when you come out here, you gotta you gotta take the time to look and just enjoy the views. I know trees aren't really views, but they're definitely unique now in this forest, especially. And the higher we climb up, you would think the trees would thin out. Nah, they're just getting bigger. Yeah, we're we're pretty far in here. Uh, we should be, I don't even know, probably mile four. Maybe we're over four. We, we believe that the next intersection to trail should be coming up at any moment now. We're hoping so. This is what the trail looked like with these kind of trees scattered across it at one point. And you were just getting lost. Just trying to hike out here now. Yeah, there's just a part that said Bear Tracks Lake and it was just a wall of trees. He found out the hard way when he came out here. So we finally passed the first intersection. That is a rejoice because that means in a little bit we'll be at the last intersection to the Beaver Meadows and to the Bear Tracks. We'll take the bear tracks and then we'll be at the lake shortly after. We're almost there. It, this hike is just, it's a butt kicking hike. It really does take a lot out of you. And I mean, if you're willing to backpack up here, this is definitely a trail that you want to be lightweight on because you don't want to do average. Average, I don't know, unless you're built for it or have all day, but. Yeah, we're finally, we're getting there, slowly but surely. Just taking time, just tired. Once we get up there, we'll be up there for a while, fishing, cracking some beers, eating some food, taking a swim, possibly. Throwing the dog in. Throwing the dog in. Having a good time. And the... Well, hopefully that we all catch some fish out here. Uh, final stretch guys final stretch it's been a butt kicking hike but we're practically almost to the lake finally it so it by the time we get to the lake i'm guessing maybe we went over five miles total from our campsite because they had to redo this whole trail system and it probably kind of twitched it and added a little bit longer length. The map I have couldn't even be probably that accurate to what the trail changed to because the probably old trail is probably somewhere down there and this is a new trail that they had to make. As you can see with the prime example of all these fallen trees around us, this is what me and this guy dealt with Couple years ago, when we came up here to do a day hike, we made it down to the bottom of the meadows and we didn't realize we were that close to the lake, but it was just so rough. We were climbing over stuff like this, leaving trail markers to try to find our way back. Like, now that we're finally on a trail again, we're getting there and I can't wait because, oh my gosh, I can't wait to do some fishing. I hope to catch some fish. I'm hoping hoping
Just want some fish for dinner tonight. And some good beer, and some Jack Daniels. Some beer punk? Oh yeah, beer punk. Oh, that was a goat fart. Folks, I have proud news, a proud news. After years of trying to come to this beautiful lake, we have finally made it to the Bear Tracks Lake. It was a hike, it is rough, it was nice. A lot of views, a lot of amazing stuff. <sighs> we finally here. I get to cross this off my bucket list and move on. Other backpacking trails. We're gonna find a place to hang out and fish and relax. Here it is. Guys, we're having fish for dinner. Well, we're going to start moving uh, down the trail again. Uh, the clouds are slowly uh, coming down on us, and it's actually getting darker out here. It's We don't want to be involved in a thunderstorm or anything. A little rain's okay. Uh, my fishing pole screwed up, so I couldn't catch anything. Uh, the one fish I did catch, he got free uh, halfway through, so nope. Uh, ben caught a little, little mini fish. It's pretty cool. He was on the other side of that rock right there. He wasn't big enough to keep, though. Uh, he was probably like four inches. Uh, six. I'd say six inches if you include his tail. Six probably inches? Only, probably only four, meat, four inches of meat. Oh, okay. So, yeah, four inches worth of meat, but six inches total. Yeah, the fish are hopping like crazy. The, fi the fish are biting. Don't get me wrong. Now, if my fishing pole wasn't screwed up and I'm practically out of line. At least a thousand jump in the past five minutes. Let's get going. Let's get going. But we're rolling out of here. We'll see you down the trail. Getting chilly. Well, I think I have some hype. We are officially back at camp. It was. You want some? It was a well, heck of a journey. Uh, I didn't have a GPS, so I wasn't really track of miles. But if anything, I'm guessing we probably did six miles one way, six miles back to camp. Easy. So twelve miles total in a day. The hike. Twelve to fourteen, I think. 12 14 it, it was rough between. it was a long day we left at a little after 10 and it is a little after 8 so bleeding or anything we are actually uh we're exhausted that was somewhere it was tiring here oh we're just sitting down and then we're gonna sit there uh build a fire yeah. cook some food and just kind of hang out for the remainder of the night because we still got one more day out here to relax and not do a damn thing and that's kind of our goal on this it was beautiful guys I, I we've been wanting to go to this lake for a long while and after the other two failed attempts and us finally making it today we got a bonus I may not have caught a fish but there's something that I have always wanted to see, and that was a moose. And I finally got to see my first moose. Basically, a big one. She, she, I, I'm pretty sure it could have been a female. I don't, I'm not sure, but she, she was big. She's, she's a big girl now. And the camera is shaky because I zoomed in from a very far distance. We were very far away from there. But what, what do you think? Like 200 yards? 
50 yards probably. 50 yards? Anywhere from 50 to 100. So if anywhere from 50 to 100 yards. She was, but that was... Hunter started barking, that was scary. Yeah, we, we our dog decided to uh, get the moose to look our way. We, we don't want to antagonize it, but that was cool. The lake was awesome. Ben caught a little, a little itty bitty fish. Mm -hmm. I had something. He got free halfway through. Saw a moose. The hike was great. Now we're all tired, beat down, and ready to relax because this is what we do when a hard day just kind of takes part. Now it's time to enjoy ourselves. Did I say it's already eight? It's already passed. And fire sounds good. Good. Yeah. Fire. It's a good description. All right. This is the human torch. This beer box is filled with twigs, sawdust, all the woodwork so you possibly make a high person pie. Now, you ready to light this thing up? Maybe we should have threw some gas in. Go slow first. Good morning. This is day three. Uh, this is our lazy day. So uh, it's like I don't even know what time it is. It's probably past 9 o'clock. Went to bed pretty early last night. We were all pretty wrecked after uh, that hike. But it's totally worth it. It's been great so far. So I'm down here by the river. Uh, just trying my luck. Seeing if I can, might be able to catch a fish still. Actually bring it into camp. I've uh, heard stories of people who've caught fish out of here, so figure why not give it a shot. It's probably not the greatest luck. But yeah, uh, this river is literally right by our camp, so it is a good source to have. Heck, later today, when it gets really hot, I think I'm gonna go for a swim. But for now, I think fishing just sounds, oops, sounds nice. So, we leave tomorrow, but we do nothing today.
miniature uh, beer pong at your finest. See, the last time I left everyone at, uh... oh yeah, we were setting up a uh, miniature beer pong. That was really fun. I won. And then we played King's Cup. Hung out at the river, kind of just enjoying ourselves. It's a lazy relaxation day, so who cares what we're doing? We're just enjoying ourselves out here. Six o'clock. Got a fire going. Uh, the slacker is back in the hammock. Other one's reading her book. Me, I've just been building a fire and chopping firewood. I don't really have much to really report. I mean, I'm just kind of doing what you normally do at a camp hang out, enjoy the scenery. I hope the time don't fly. It's a beautiful day. The sky's broken apart. It looked like it was going to rain earlier. No, clouds look way better. Just kind of waiting to have dinner. Uh, we're going to uh, try to eat the last of our backpacker meals so that way when we walk out of here tomorrow we have nothing. No food. We're, we're practically almost through all the food we brought. We're scrapping through what we have left now and trying to stretch it. I mean, some for meals. Eat the last of it for dinner. So, I've been trying to come out here for. Well, I first came out here back in 2012. Uh, when the microburst just uh, barely occurred and uh, devastated the forest. That was a really rough trip. And then we returned years later. Uh, and we've come out here for three years now in a row. This is our third year. And we finally made it to the lake. Uh, first year didn't go so well. Uh, stepped off the trail, kind of got turned around and we were lost for the night. But just to know that we were camped right above the trail. So that's how we ended up at this campsite the first time. Second time, we were going to take a different trail thinking it might be shorter. Nope, it just ended up being longer. Third time, we finally decided to do it right. We came back to the spot. We set up our hammocks. We got all relaxed. And the next day, we went and hit the trail. We finally made it to the lake. And it was just as beautiful as people said it would be. And we got the bonus of having a moose. So a big old moose. Probably a female. I don't know. I don't know my mooses. I don't know my genders on moose. If I had antlers, I'd better tell. But 
first time seeing a moose. It was exciting. And now we just kind of took the rest of the time to enjoy ourselves, relax, and not do a darn thing. Water, filter, having a few beers, fishing in the river. I haven't really caught anything. I knew met a couple people earlier this morning that caught something out of here. That was about it. But otherwise that, eh, nothing else to really report. Just same stuff, different time basically. Relaxing, hanging out, and enjoying the fire. All right, there you have it. This is my backpacker's meal and my day dinner on day three for my night three. I got mashed potatoes, chicken, and some fire roasted veggies. I'm gonna dig into this because this just looks bomb. Oh yeah, so we got a bat flying above us. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's aerial bombing it. Going at it. Beat him up. Good job, Pat! Good morning. It's day four. It's our pack out day. We're getting out of here soon. We're gonna start breaking down camp and go home basically. We gotta go back to work tomorrow and go back to the real world basically. It was fun. It was a blast. Uh, this has been a dream come true. I finally get to cross this off my bucket list. Uh, for so long, I've been trying to get to that lake, and it never made it until this time. We finally got there, and it was just amazing. We got, I got to see my first moose, got to enjoy the beautiful weather. Our first night was just star blasted, so we had a lot of stars. Other two nights, cloud coverage. Didn't really get much. Uh, when we were going to bed last night, the clouds were slowly breaking apart, so more stars were popping out. Uh, a lot of good times. Uh, yesterday was a nice, relaxing day. This was the first area that I came and did my first real big backpacking trip when the microburst first appeared. It didn't work out so well. I had packed a lot more weight than what I do today. I uh, slimmed way down. I used to be like 80, 90 pounds back then. I'm down to like 40, 30 pounds right now. That's including my food and water. So, it's been real fun. It's been a blast. I hate to go, but we're gonna start checking out some new areas now. It's time to, uh, move on and go somewhere else.
so we are getting out of here finally this is the end uh, this campsite is probably one of my favorites so it is perfect for tent and hammock camping so as you guys saw we had three hammocks set up in this vicinity you can also set tents it, it's a huge area with a nice fire pit you even have this backside over here with plenty of deadfall so firewood's pretty good over here so when we first came here this uh, metal fire ring wasn't here there's my uh, backpack packed up where I go it's an external so yeah this fire pit wasn't uh, here last time or this uh, metal fire ring so whoever did that uh, that's pretty cool yeah thank you whoever did that now let me take you to the best part of this whole area the river that's right we got a beachfront by the river with little logs that we walk across sit on the rock and we can play around in the water fish do whatever we need we had our water source so this campsite is a very highly rated recommended place I love it it's a shame we probably won't be returning here for quite some time uh, it's just giving us a better opportunity to go else places and see new things so why not I mean it, it's just what we're out here to do adventure and explore the world so uh, he's already got his pack on it's already a sign that I should be doing the same thing thank you guys thanks for watching when we as us three, we'll see you out on the next one.